All right, everybody, this is going to be my tutorial for the week. I just kind of wanted to go over something very simple. So I do have some already here, but I'm going to add more. So what I'm going to do is going to be the aligned dimensions, which you can, so clicking up there, you can press DI, and I'll simply pull it up. So on this one, you have a couple of options up here. You can do the wall center line, wall face. So I'll show you each one of those. So here's the center line. Let's pick up every time. You have the wall face. And it'll still pick up that center line for you, but it brings in the other one. And then you have a center of core, which is going to see, do like right in here every single time. So just like this one, this has the outer layer as the inner layer, but then that is the actual core of it. Then of course, you have face of cork. So it's going to go on the inside of there, say like on the inside of the studs. For this, I'm just going to choose uh, wall face, so then you can get both of them. There is um, entire wall or individual references. So you have the whole entire wall here, um, where it's going to choose that wall, and then I personally don't ever use that, so I will probably be taking that one out. There we go. So just like that, so you can do the whole entire wall there. You can do individual reference. Um, there are options as you can take openings, intersecting walls, intersecting grids. Um, I'm not going to go over that, but you are welcome to do so yourself. Um, so what I'm going to do is choose the center here and see how it says 3, 10, 7, 8. If I click right in here, because that walkway right there, I want it to be three and a half feet. Um, that is my stair line right here in this area. So if I want this area right here to be three and a half feet, while I'm doing this, for some reason it doesn't let me... Um, For some reason, it's not let me exit out whenever I'm doing this anymore. Just by pressing escape, it doesn't make sense to me. Let's see. I think my computer's freaking out. So you do have all these other ones right here. You have the linear. Um, you do have different sizes. And here's like an arc one. So from that one. Here, which I don't understand because it looks the same to me. So, um, okay, there we go. Got out of it. So you have a face one, and you have an a, a internal core, which is center line. Um, so with that, so I'm not too worried about this one. I'm I'm actually looking in this space right here. So. Um, I want it to be three and a half. I feel like that's good. Because normally for ADA, you have 36 inches or 32 inches is like the minimum. But well, I like space. It's a pretty big place. And um, having that, that room there will, will help out tremendously, I would think. So I can click on this wall here or, or this one and see how the letters change from blue. You'll notice that. And so what you'll do is go here. You can type in 3.5 or you can type in 3. Um, six, or you can do three and a half. And what it'll do is do well that if you do that way. Um, but if you do six, there you go. It's three and a half. Um, and of course, see how it's changing everything else, everything around it that's been already made. So I wanted to keep this. Two foot. So there we go. So that is the one way you can do that. Now, I have these, as you can already see, already made. So say you already have some made, but you want to um, delete what it says or what it's showing. So let me see right here. This one's going to have, I can make them just like that. Um, 
and it'll, it'll make them where I need them if that's kind of what I'm wanting. But say I don't want this 13 or I don't want that four sitting there. So what I can do is click on it, go here, um, and then just go right where it's picking up and then just click out of it and it'll show only that one as the one I need. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one and go back. So of course you see these ones here and how they are not um, on the face, they're all in the center line. Say you wanna make sure that this right here is just like that one right there. Uh, what you can do is take this dot here and what you'll be doing is taking, putting on the face of it and I'll do both of them and then I'll show you that it is three and a half feet wide. So there you go. Clicking out of that. So you have all these different ones. And the one thing I do like, see how these two are actually the same? So I put them in the same location, as you can see. And then after I've done that, I can click on it and see how it has the EQ right here? And it has a little dash through it. Well, if I click it, it'll make it equal. And it's really awesome to me because then it can make it to where these are exactly the same. And I did the same and then I shifted these in the middle. So I'll show you a system real fast. So you have, um, let me just put some walls here. So you can definitely see that they are not even. These are some just walls I made. It's a two by six by two by four um, wall in the middle for sheer. So right here. So I could pick up that center line if I wanted. And I'll do that one first. And just say it's seven foot nine six, which is interesting how I got that um, without having any eights or anything like that. So of course, press equal and it'll shift these. So say you want it different, just press tab a few times and it'll, it'll kick it right where you're wanting it. And if you're wanting the space to be exactly where you're needing it, so you want that one to go on the center line, but you want these two spaces to be the same. Do that same thing, go up here, and I'll actually click the object, it looks like. And then, let's see. There we go, and that'll make it even. Now, I can move that out and everything, and I'll keep it even, no matter what I do. Um, See how it's on the out, and, uh, the face of it, inner part of it, and then the face. So all I've got to do is click on one of them, click out of it, and it's going to keep showing it's equal, right? Look, now it's gone, just because I've clicked out, and it's not going to be equal anymore. And it's not going to let me do that anymore, but um, it's, it's simply just an easy way to try to get these to be equaled out and where you're wanting them. So there we go. All right, so it's all equal, not equal. It's 11, 10 and a half, 7, 6. I want it to be equal. I want it to not show it anymore, but see, there you go. It's 9, 8, 1 fourth, 1 fourth. So there you go, guys. That's my tutorial on having, a, um, what is it? That's the aligned dimensions. Of course, you press D1 also, and then how you and what you can do with them. So I hope everybody enjoyed the tutorial. It was kind of short. I hope everybody's having a great week. Thank you.